good evening. On behalf of administration, faculty, and staff, welcome to our 2018 commencement ceremony. I'm Angela Moore, proud the broken down of the where we are building a brand. Living life on this the merry go we ask that you honor our graduates by silencing your cell phones and electronic devices. Please, from using a noise maker, your seat to take pictures. Professional photographer, pictures during, during this. Please stand and join me in welcome the class of 2000.
remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance, led by Myriad Michelle, followed by Andres Octavius singing the national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, so can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the fair Ooh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Through the perilous fight For the ramparts we watched Who were so gallantly streaming And the rockets rattling The bombs bursting in air Thank you. Thank you, Mariette and Andres. <laughs> to this unique class of 2018, parents, family members, and invited guests, I stand before you honored to serve as principal of Blade Central. I'd like to thank, thank the teachers and staff for doing their best to serve our students and creating better opportunities for them. Ms. Henry Mormon, Mr. Cordner, and Mrs. Sider, please stand at this time. They are retiring after 35 years plus in public education. Congratulations on your retirement. You have given far more than what was required, and for that, we say thank you. Finally, parents, family members, and residents of this great community, thank you for being supportive. It is my honor to introduce our platform guest, Dr. Donald E. Fenoy, Palm Beach County School Superintendent. <laughs> Ms. Carlin Millen, Glades Regional Superintendent. <laughs> Mr. Howard Hepburn, Glades Instructional Superintendent. Mrs. Marsha Andrews, school board member, District 6. Dr. Charlene Ford, principal, West Tech. Dr. Angela Bess, school justice programs manager. Mrs. Vivian Green, central regional instructional superintendent. Dr. Diane Howard, principal, Crossroads Academy. Dr. Carl Gibbons, Principal, Lake Shore Middle School. And Mrs. Mary O. Evans, former principal, Glade Central Community High School, Chi Cities member. I would also like to acknowledge individuals who have supported our students throughout the years. Please stand when your name is called. Audience, please hold your applause until all names have been called. Ms. Caroline Villanueva, South Florida External Affairs Manager with Florida Crystals. 
Mr. Eddie Rhodes, the Blaze Central School Advisory Council President, Tri-Cities Education Member, Ms. Bernita Cox, SAC Member, Ms. Kathy Levy, SAC Member and proud parent of a student in the class of 2018. Pastor William and Maria Gonzalez, Ms. Jesse Valsimas, Head of Children and Teen Services with Palm Beach County Library System, Mrs. Alicia Wilson, aide to Honorable Mayor Melissa McKinley, Mr. Steve Wilson, City of Belle Glade Mayor, Ms. Mary Ross Wilkerson, City of Belle Glade Vice Mayor, Mr. Larry Underwood, City of Belle Glade Commissioner, Mr. Joe Kyles, City of South Bay Mayor, Ms. Betty Bernard, City of South Bay Commissioner, Mr. Lee Andre Camel, City of South Bay Manager, Mr. Anquan Bolden and Mrs. Dion Bolden, Anquan Bolden Foundation, Dr. Carla Kendall, Manager, Department of Assessment, and Ms. Adriana Kimbrough, Glaze Region Instructional Support Team Leader. And finally, our principals who are with us tonight. Mrs. Linda Edgecombe, Principal, Glade View Elementary. Mrs. Pamela Buckman, Pioneer Park Elementary. Ms. Rivera Walker, Bell Glade Elementary. Ms. Dion Napier, Rosenwald Elementary. Ms. Kim Thomason, Gove Elementary. And Mr. Tim Abrams, Principal of DJJ and Youth Services. Thank you for your support, for the support that you have given to our students over the years. They could not be here if you were not involved in their education. Dr. Donald E. Fenoy II is the 26th Superintendent of Schools for the School District of Palm Beach County. The district is the 11th largest district in the country with a student enrollment of more than 193,000 students. Prior to his appointment as Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Fenoy served as the district's Chief Operating Officer. He graduated from Florida A&M Florida University with a degree in elementary education. He went on to earn a master's degree in educational leadership and a doctorate in educational leadership and administration from the University of Central Florida. He and his wife, Kendra, are the proud parents of two beautiful children. Ladies and gentlemen, our superintendent, Dr. Fenoy. Well, good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. First of all, let me say I am so proud and I'm so humbled to stand in front of such magnificent people. Ladies and gentlemen, we need you more than ever. And I'm just thankful that God allowed me to be here with you today. Parents, teachers, and guests, I'd like to take, thank you for your personal investment in the students walking across the stage today. No one truly accomplishes anything that is worth accomplishing alone. So students, before this day is over, I hope you take a moment, and I mean many moments, to say thank you to the people that helped you get here today. The spirit of gratitude is something my mother taught me early in life. Matter of fact, yesterday morning she called me to remind me that since she gave birth to me, I literally owe her my life. I know there are many mothers in this room that feel the exact same way today. Saying thank you is an acknowledgement that someone has made your life better for just a moment or for forever, not because they had to, but because they could. Saying thank you is the phrase that acknowledges the very tenet of our humanity, that we need one another. My mother taught me that I should say thank you frequently and often and more today than I did the day before. The same is true for two small words, I'm sorry. You should always be eager to right a wrong, especially if you can do it with just two small words, I'm sorry. Misunderstandings and hard feelings can easily become oceans that unnecessarily divide us. You're entering adulthood in extraordinarily complex times. I have high hopes that your generation pins the chapter that brings us closer together despite our many differences. I happen to be the son of a man who spent 22 years in the armed forces. Having a father that fought in both Vietnam and Desert Storm, he wasn't a man of many words. 
And he also didn't give me a whole lot of gifts. But two gifts that he gave me that I remember was one in the first grade. He gave me a Mickey Mouse alarm clock. Where we lived in England at the time, my mother had to work and so did my father. So I had to get up every morning to go to school. The next time he gave me a gift was many years later in 1994 when I graduated from high school. He gave me another alarm clock. He gave me that alarm clock because I was on my way to Florida A&M University to be a member of the March 100. Yeah, y'all go ahead and get that up. And he said to me, son, in my house, because remember, I graduated in 1994. On June 8th was my birthday. I turned 18. And his exact words to me, there will only ever be one man to live in his house. Go on and be prosperous. So listen to me, graduates. Don't go too long the next few days without setting your alarm clock. You're here today because, like it or not, you got out of bed every single day. My father said getting out of bed with purpose is the most common denominator in achieving your next goal and all of your future goals. So again, I empathize with your class of 2018. Take a few days off, but you better get back to setting that alarm clock. On behalf of the school board of Palm Beach County, our board members, and the 27 plus thousand employees that had a very small part in you being here today, we love you and congratulations to the class of 2018.
Thank you, Dr. Fernoy and Glade Central Band members, along with MacArthur High School, under the direction of Mr. Charles Moore, Raider Alumni, Class of 2004. <laughs> Salutatorian Alexander Lopez has a 4.9 HPA. Alexander was born in Cuba. He came to the United States at the very end of seventh grade without knowing any English. Alexander en enjoys challenging himself. Towards that end, he plans to become a doctor and specialize in the field of, de of dermatology. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Alexander Lopez. Good evening, family, students, administration, teachers of Glade Central Community High School, and distinguished platform guests. My name is Alexander Lopez, and I have been given the awesome opportunity to welcome each and every one of you. When I began writing my speech, I did not know how to start, but one thing I knew was that I had a lot to say. Life is not always easy, not at all but especially when you move to a country where you have to learn a new language and still excel at school. I was born in Cuba. When I was 12 years old, everything changed in my life. My parents decided to move our family to the United States. They were seeking a better future for my brother and me. A week after arriving in this country, I enrolled at Lakeshore Middle School. Everything was strange and unfamiliar to me, but especially the language. I could not understand anything said to me in English, and I felt helpless. It was a very frustrating situation since I wanted to make good grades and aim for academic excellence. However, nothing is impossible. No one said success was something easy to accomplish. No one said it didn't require sacrifice and effort and no one said I did not have to constantly defeat the idea of giving up. I had to work really hard and twice as hard as native speakers, but here I am today. I made it. I moved, I moved through the ESO program, learning English, advancing to A's and AP classes, and now I'm here at the top of my class. I, re I remember when I first thought of giving a speech the day of graduation, I felt like a character in a graphic novel, but my story has become reality. My journey throughout high school can be compared to a book, a book of adventures with many superheroes. These heroes are the people who have always been willing to help others. People such as my middle school English teacher, Mr. Estrada, and my two high school guidance counselors, Ms. Boyce and Mrs. Silva. Mr. Estrada, you were always there for me any time I needed help and advice. You always encouraged me to work hard and guided me in the process of learning a new language. Thank you, Mr. Estrada. Your kindness and support really made a difference in my life. You will always have my gratitude. Ms. Boyce, you have always been willing to help. No matter what, you were always there. Thank you, Ms. Boyce, for all your support, your time, and your dedication. You are an awesome person with a beautiful heart. Mrs. Silva, even though you were not my guidance counselor, I do consider you an invaluable advisor. I went to you when I needed help, and you helped me as you would help any of your students. You treated me as if I were your son, and we were all part of a big family. Thank you for being such a wonderful person, and thank you for your patience your effort, and the love you put into your job. Gracias de corazón. Teachers are superheroes, and they give each of us the tools to become superheroes ourselves. Thank you to all my teachers from ninth to 12th grade. Thank you, Ms. Sutherland, for being an awesome math teacher. Thank you, Ms. Elizarazo. You are the best. I really enjoyed your class. You made it look easy, and you are more than a teacher to your students. You are a friend. Thank you, Mrs. Mr. Sanchez for being a cool, nice, and friendly teacher. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. 
Your class was really a challenge, and I'm glad I took it. I not only had a great time, but I learned a lot as well. Thank you, Ms. Taspo, Mr. Kushni, Ms. Cunningham, Ms. Goss, Ms. Elise. Thank you, Ms. Babun. You are not only a great English teacher, but you are a sweet and understanding person as well. Thank you, Ms. D, for your patience, your care, and all the effort you put into your job. I wish I could mention all of my teachers, but you know who you are, and thanks to all of you. As I said, my high school journey has been like a graphic novel. All my superhero teachers and counselors have guided me on this journey and provided both challenges and strategies to overcome obstacles. However, my greatest superheroes are my family. Thanks mom and dad for everything you have done for me. Thank you for choosing to start from zero to give me a better life. Thank you grandma and grandpa for your support and your help, for always being there at any time. Words cannot explain my gratitude for everything you have done for me. I would not be here today without you. Thanks to my uncle who is here today for always giving me a hand anytime I needed it. Thanks to all of you. Class of 2018, I mentioned earlier that our teacher give us the tools to become superheroes. They do, but we have to remember that it is our obligation to take those tools, use them to the utmost, and become superheroes to others. I came to this new country and I was welcome and I excel. I'm continuing to write my novel of success. As graduates, we all have to share our challenges and our successes to provide pathways for others. Tonight, we live late central and many opportunities open up to us. Let's use our brains and our hearts to be the superheroes of the future. Thank you.
Thank you, Alexander, and the senior chorus under the direction of Ms. Mona King. Giselle Rodriguez is a first-generation college student with a 5.05 weighted GPA. She will be attending Florida International University to major in psychology. She will then pursue an educational specialist degree in school psychology to one day work with children who have special needs. Please welcome the class of 2018 valedictorian, Ms. Giselle Rodriguez. Good evening. Welcome platform guests. We appreciate your presence and your support as many of you drove a long time to join us tonight. Out of curiosity, did you like all that sugar cane on the way over? <laughs> to the faculty, staff, families, and friends, thank you for helping us along the way as these past four years have had challenges for us all. If you are sitting here, stuck in the auditorium, or even watching at home through your laptop, know that you, assisted a student in here, received their diploma tonight. No building is constructed overnight. When something is built, it's done so a brick at a time. The class of 2018 started the same year that Ms. Moore began hers here as a principal. She challenged every Raider to build the brand. So here's some of the people who have helped build up the foundation to our brand. Raymond Mangual, who's the only senior signing to the US Marines this year. Jordana Levy. <laughs> Jordana Levy, who's the first person on campus in 15 years to receive a superior ranking at the state level for her musical aptitude. <laughs> Rudolph Cameron, for being the first person on campus to win twice in state championships at boxing. And on top of all of that, 19 seniors early admitted at Palm Beach State, meaning they took all college level courses. So far, that has been the largest number in Glade Central history. A special thank you to Ms. Moore for what she's done for her students. By creating the Roadmap to Graduation program, Every student knows where they are academically and what they need to do in order to graduate on time. As a result, our graduation rate has risen. Former President Barack Obama once said, if you were successful, someone along the line gave you some help. Some of the individuals who have helped me along the way are Mr. Tom Ross, who I want to apologize for not going to FAU, or as he calls it, the Harvard of the South. Ms. Ortega for being extremely critical of all my work, like extremely. Wow. Mr. Sanchez for giving me the best advice and never failing to buy lots of donuts for fundraisers. Dr. Harriet for caring about each of her students and singing math formulas. X is equal to minus B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all divided by 2A is one I will never forget. And Mr. Zbitsky, I'm waiting on those nutter butters you said you'd give me if I said your name in my speech. I still miss Mr. Vincent, by the way. I'd also like to address a factually incorrect claim made by the valedictorian last year who said that Mr. Tom Ross was a person who answered questions very thoroughly. But the majority of us seniors can agree that Miss Boyce is the person to deserve that title. <laughs> Thank you for all your encouragement, Miss Boyce. Mami y papi, gracias. No me alcanza la vida para agradecerles lo que han hecho por mí. To my brother Ismar and his wife Reina, I thank you both for making me believe in myself and teaching me patience is the key to success. Finally, I'd like to thank God for giving us all the opportunity to be here on such a momentous occasion. My time here at Glade Central wouldn't be as fun without friends like Nada, who jammed out to Disney music with me, John, who taught me words like scrappy-doo and bamboozle, said only by true intellectuals, 
Ilmon for always showing up to school with those handy dandy Uno cards. Bertina for spilling the tea with me. <laughs> Rothy for giving me free Dunkin' Donuts coffee when I was on a budget. And Jordana for sending me videos of her dogs every single day. <laughs> my goal for the future is to achieve my dream of one day working with kids who have special needs. A defining event in my life that made me realize that's what I wanted to do was when I volunteered at the Very Special Arts Festival. And I watched as a little boy, let's call him Carlos, approached my side of the table. Now the assignment at my table was to decorate a bird on a paper plate, including materials like glue, which gets love for some reason, as well as a variety of colorful feathers. What could go wrong? He edged away from his teacher and slowly got farther and farther away from his partner. I asked Carlos if he wanted me to help him glue the feathers. He said nothing. He didn't even look at me when I spoke. Seriously, this kid was super focused on the project. Noticing his very sticky and gluey hands, a teacher approached and attempted to help by trying to do part of the project for him. Boy, did he throw a tantrum. He tossed his project in the air, yes, Feathers did fly. He began to yell, cry, and pull on his hair. Let's not forget about those gluey hands. So the teacher attempted to get Carlos to calm down, which only made him more upset. At a loss, the teacher walked away to look for backup. When Carlos was alone once again, he asked me for another plate to decorate. He immediately restarted his project, focused and calm on his work. A while later, the teacher returned with her support to discover Carlos was quietly and diligently working on his creation. He asked me for help once or twice if he noticed he was getting too frustrated, but in the end, he made a very special little birdie. And he did it mostly by himself. All he needed to accomplish his goals was some space from the adults in his life. Well, seniors, we're about to get a lot of space from the adults in our lives. For the majority of our lives, we've been guided by adults, whether it be a brother, a sister, an aunt, an uncle, a grandparent, a parent, a kind assistant principal like Ms. Bolden Morris, or even a fabulous librarian like Ms. Z. What will you do with that space? Will you pursue your dreams or throw a tantrum like Carlos did? Once we leave tonight, we lose all the structure we had, and you become in charge of your own life. Confucius once said, if you love what you do, you will never work a day in your life. To the 245 graduates sitting in front of me, I ask that with that space, you find your purpose and chase after it. Find that something you love and begin to build your brand in our world. Thank you. Thank you, Giselle. In 2014, Anquan Bolden and his wife, Dion, invested $1 million of their personal money to demonstrate their commitment towards underserved students. Over the last five years, a senior has been awarded a $10,000 scholarship. Tonight, they will once again present this scholarship to a senior in the class of 2018. Please welcome the Walter Payton Man of the Year, Mr. Anquan Bolden and his wife, Raider alumni, class of 2000, Mrs. Dion Bolden. Good evening. Um, when my husband and I um, created this endowment, um, our goal was to not only recognize students for um, academic excellence, but also for excellence in the community and just all around great citizens. Um, it is our mission to create a culture amongst our young people to give back, not only to give back, but to never forget the communities that raised you. It is our honor and our pleasure to present the 2018 Anquan and Dion Bolden scholarship to Elman Khalid.
Thank you, Dion and Anquan. As you enter the city of Belglade, you're greeted with a sign that reads, her soul is her fortune, rich soil, commonly referred to as muck. This soil can grow almost anything, black gold. The Glades is the gateway to the largest freshwater lake in the state of Florida. This farming community proudly boasts the nickname Muck City and uses the agricultural industries to produce the majority of all commodities served throughout the entire world. This soil was also used to build our school, the Glade Central Community High School, a school with a richness that reaches far beyond its walls. Rich, because it has produced at least 23 professional football players. Rich, because its athletes have toiled the football fields in an effort to reach unexpected milestones. Milestones like 2017 true freshman starting quarterback for Florida State University, James Blackman. 2009 Super Bowl MVP, Pittsburgh Steelers, Santonio Holmes. And 2002 Heisman Trophy first runner up, Brad Banks of the University of Iowa. Our scholars are also known to make an impact in the world. Like newly appointed president of Phoenix College in Arizona, Dr. Larry Johnson, superintendent of Shenandoah Central School District, Dr. L. Oliver Robinson, and epidemiologist, Dr. Cheryl Anderson. Designer Sola Conchella and Terrence Torrance have also captured the nation with their prom designs. Our school history is rich because black gold is in our DNA. During my first year as, as principal of Blade Central, then freshmen in this class of 2018 were introduced to a concept of building a brand. This concept focused on the quality of our work and built on the successes of Raider alumni like the ones mentioned before. A brand that beamed with pride anytime you spoke of accomplishments of students in the classroom and on the field. A brand that forged relationships with members of its community. A brand that supported one another no matter our differences. Seniors, our brand was derived from the black gold that is part of this community's DNA. And when mixed with an understanding that nothing is given to you, and you add Frederick Barthel and Robert Clark Jr.'s mindset of OWE, outwork everybody, you create a unique group of brand builders. Brand builders like Jada D'Agostine, who earned a $140,000 academic scholarship to Lynn University. Raheem Alford, who is the first high jumper in over 10 years to earn a track scholarship. Dewan Miller and Dekedra Pompey, whose athletic performances earned them title Male and Female Athlete of the Year. They each knew that nothing would be given to them, so they put in the work to build their brand. Seniors, in this unique class of 2018, understand the significance of the phrase, her soil is her fortune. It references the muck and the greatness that is produced from it. Greatness that begins as a seed that is cultivated by the industries that surround it and nurtured by the Glades community which resides in it. Greatness, like FFA senior chapter members, Eric Calderon, Lisette Jeremillo, Ronaldo Sanchez, and Dulce Diaz, who advanced to state in their second year as an ag team and the first time in over 12 years. Co-captains, Almonica Milford and Whiskiera Lamine, who led their team to its first ever flag football semifinals. And Carlin's Clairvoyant and Brams Lewis, who started a mentoring program for Esau students. The soil that feeds millions of people throughout the world also inspires students to have compassion for others. Jardina Levy coordinated a fundraiser for our beloved staff member who was diagnosed with cancer. Andres Octavius and HOSA members celebrated breast cancer survivors and Kenwan Simulton remained at his classmate's side after he was involved in a serious car accident. 
These seniors are using the richness of the soil to build a brand that will last forever. Graduates, you should be proud to have lived in a community that is rich with history. Don't believe the narrative that it's a place with limits. It is the place that has propelled you to grow and be great, just like the others before you. Greatness that is demonstrated by your current graduation rate, which is 85% higher than any other class in Glaze Central history. <laughs> Graduates, you have grown since your journey began in 2014, just like the crops that grow from the richness of the muck. However, proceed with caution. You will be faced with challenges that will compete for your attention, like the weeds that compete with plants for space, nutrients, and sunlight. Weeds that distract, weeds that deter growth, weeds that cause unsuccessful outcomes. Graduates, when you entered this campus in 2014, you were like a seed that was planted by your parents. We did our best to provide you with the nutrients you needed to grow. We fed you with knowledge in the place of food. We taught you life lessons in the place of water. We gave you exposure to activities beyond the classroom in the place of sunlight. Once you began to grow, we continued to nurture you. And when the weeds sprouted, attempting to compete with the progress you were making towards your future, we stepped in, pulled them out, and resupplied you with the nutrients you needed. Now is your time to harvest into what we know you can be, because black gold is in your DNA. This black gold demands you to strive for excellence. It expects you to raise the bar. It requires you to be proud of your community because her soil is her fortune. On behalf of Dr. Howard and I, congratulations. Class of 2018, Muck City's finest, our brand builders continue to be great because greatness is in your DNA. Thank you. Giselle Rodriguez, valedictorian. Alexander Lopez, salutatorian. Mariette Michelle. Jordan Hooper. Ilman Khaled. Jordana Levy. Micaela Mojica. Kitia Estash. Dulce Diaz. Geronda Booth. John Mosqueda. Andres Octavius. Whiskeria Lamine. Guadalupe Alcala Garcia. Myra Juarez. Yolisha Silverain. Renee Crony. Omonica Milford. Kurlandi Simeon. Elizabeth Vital. Astrid Garcia's Pies. Andy Gutierrez. Kamaya Young. Jessica Aboitis. Jatavis Abrams. Taikiera Adams. Raheem Alford. 
Miguel Albor. Omar Afghani. Mathy Alpazar. Nancy Alvarado. Katia Alvarenga. America Amesquita. Ronique Anna Crayon. Vince Kensley Antoine. Sandina Annalise. Roderick Baldwin. Samantha Barrientos. Reynard Bojame. Valia Benami. Jasmine Berry. Andrew Bryant. Sage S. Brissett. Kiana Bother. Kanaja Young. Angel Bonilla Mendez. David Brown. Ron Kiria Brown. Fredeline Casimir. Sarah Bryant. Eric Calderon. Jonteria Morgan Palman Bryant. Tom Crawford III. Victoria Cooper. Jennifer Jaimez. Edgar Castro. Carl Chino. Carlin's Clairvoyant. Chow Young, Corey Aland. Leslie Camel. Denise Fields. Adriana Cristobal. Amelda Cruz. Daniela Deity. Roseland Delance. Elijah Daniels. Ty Davis. Wilkevis Davis. Lachey Delano Sadler. Anaya Jackson. Dominique Ellison. Jada Diagostine. Wesleyan Dorleans. Marie Kitia Dordalis. Jalen Dunkley. Joe Durham. Amia Ellison. Raina DePaz. Maiska Eximon. Willie Canty the third. Jada Emiliana Harris. Jennifer Flores. Luis Flores. Stephanie Flores. Cortaceous Foster. Crystal Foster. Marie Francois. Christella Fuentes. Alandria Fuller.
was Valdo Laventure. Megan Vanessa Gardner. Christelle Barbara Genius. Miranda Garcia. Addie Wilson Gill. Javian Golfin. Gregorio Gomez. Jose Gonzalez. Leticia Gonzalez. Christopher Chavez. Jamarian Green. Tykea Griffith. Cesar Guerrero. Daniel Figueroa. Josmika Henry. Diego Hernandez. Luis Herrera Jr. Tanel Herlair. Wilnisha Decoria Palomillo. Gerald Van Jackson III. Rafi Hossein. Nestor Huerta. Victoria Huerta. Kiana Hunt. Jether Delva. London Holland. Jemiah Jackson. Janaya Jackson. Rudolph Cameron. Demarcus Johnson. Square Share Jean Baptiste. Tiana Jenkins. Lizeth Jaramillo. Tyron Jones. Tia Jones. Mykeria Johnson. Ricky Margarito. Rover Dick Jocelyn. Jamie Josie Jr. Francis LaRue. Jose Juarez Jr. Jensenia Juarez. Jelia Kitchens. Lorena Larkin Crawford. Jeriel Lazaro. George Leal Liriano. Shakira Lee. Marciana Leno. Lateria Gibson. <laughs> Estrell Previon Jr. <laughs> Yanelis Lopez. Bronze Louis. Estela Lavelle. Gustavo Lugo Torres. Destiny Lumpkin Mosley. Carolina Macias. Juan Carlos Macias. Raymond Mangual. Wayman Jones. Kiera McIntyre. Joshua McAllister. Maceo McLean. Jamarley McFarland. Jamarley McFarland. 
Saraí Martinez. Calix Michelle. Carlene Mimi. Alexis Michelle. Julian Mendoza. Adrian McCray. D1 Miller. Sabine Michelle. Catherine Miller. Shamia Milner. Anna Lizette Mojica. Yesenia Mondragon. Washna Montesim. Jaime Morales. Felton Milner the third. What? Shania Nixon. Alexis Mota. Miss Wi Miss Winisha Myrtle. Leslie Navarrete. Pierre Richard Nicholas. Magina Morgin. Louvens Noel Saint. Cesar Nunez Ramirez. Samurai Spencer. Henja Parker. Carrie Shannon. Corey Webb. Elvis Pantoja. Marana Parison. Anna Olvera. Jai Powell. Mishlove Filmon. Jasmine Pittman. Dikedra Pompey. Emerson Hillis. Juan Angel Prieto. Alejandro Lopez. Vicky Ramirez. Sanchin Ramsey. Kiana Ramsey. Neida Rangel. Joanna Roa. Talaika Robinson. Ariel Rodriguez. Brianna Spencer. Janet Rodriguez. Ken Juan Simonton. Gabriela Rodriguez Guzman. Shamaqua Rogers. Daniel Roman. Marcelino Roman. Corteria Royal. Lenaya Simpson. Chad Seabrook. Lovely St. Fort. Halima Samara Haloum. Mohammed Samara Haloum. Cassandra Sanchez. Rolando Sanchez. Peter Rodriguez. Mohammed Shatara. Sam Kwan Slaughter. Eugenda Telemark. Kobe Spear. Francisca Rodriguez. Mario Ruiz Jr. 
Jesus Oliveira Jr. Dontavius Staples. Horace Stevenson. Jasmine St. Victor. Janisha Starling. Zykeria Tensley. Demisha Tarvia Warren. Antoinisha Washington. Antoine Williams. And Ariel Williams. Class of <laughs> Class of 2018 and audience, please stand as we sing the alma mater. The alma mater is located in the back of your program. Stand and let your voices ring. Stand and let your voices ring. And let your banners fly. Praises we will ever sing. Praises we will ever sing to you, Blaze Central High. May we always honor thee. May we always honor thee in everything we do. As ever in our memory. Please be respectful of our graduates. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2018. Miss Asia Holly, please take your position. And teachers, please stand.
Miss Fletcher, hold the line. Congratulations again.